Welcome to Drawbly. In this video, we are drawing based on the prompt. Absorb. Absorb. You can join us by sharing your art online using the hashtag Drawbly and click the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. All right, let's do it. Now, what shall we be absorbing here today? Okay, so I have a history of not learning from my mistakes and there's this other time where I got really ambitious and uh -huh. tried to draw something Literally just based off of two references. That was the I height do of my hubris. I do remember this. It didn't go well. Yeah, I was I'm actually... I'm to tell you I've not learned. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say I'm actually concerned about uh, you doing the same thing. But I'll, I'll let you go. I think, you know, you got you to gotta find your own way. Yeah, I'm finding uh, my own way. So I came up with the idea to... And I'm going to just say it. It was my idea. And mm -hmm. you're copying me. It, I am. <laughs> to draw a gelatinous cube from D&D, &D, or just like a, a slime cube monster. You have some weird little heads in a jar. What? Tell me about that, Abby. Well, tell me about your weird okay, jar so heads. So I had a weird, th I was like, I want to draw something that originates in life. Originates um, in life. As in, I want to, my art to be something that was That sounds was way deeper than real. I think it was meant to be. I know. Oh, originates yeah. Originates in life. Originates yeah. in life. Um, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is I just want something that started as a real object and I'm trying to translate it into like a, a 2D art. Okay. You know, so oh. it's really not ambitious. It's just kind of where my head was at for a moment. Okay. And I decided to fly with that. I'm into it. Yeah. I, I'm, I also chose gelatinous cube because I figured <laughs> how hard could a cube be uh, to draw? And, <laughs> um, and we'll find out uh, very soon. <laughs> right, exactly. I, you know, the, what, the, the nervous part of doing something like this is that, oh, you're going to start with something so easy, but then you're still going to mess it up somehow. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. I know. I feel like it's actually going to be kind of really difficult probably just having not done it i'm excited to i'm excited to find out what we're about to learn about what it takes to create a gelatinous substance in cube well i think the transparency kind of like see through nature of that will be a little tough uh, we're also, I, I'm going to try to get some texture on mine. I don't know about you, but mm. this is one of my goals that I'll be aiming for. Lofty it is, yes. And I'd like to try to maybe put like some stuff in there, you know, some adventuring yeah. things like like maybe uh, an, a battle axe or, or a Ooh, mace cool. or, or something. So I've done it. I've made a cube. It's not very good. Um, so now I'm going to try to make it more cube-like. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'd also like to maybe try, um, I don't remember what I was gonna say. I'm too focused on my That's dang all right. cube. Let me talk, oh. let me ask you something. No, oh. I'm gonna try to bevel these edges. Don't ask me things, I'm drawing <laughs> over here. <laughs> what, what do you wanna ask? I was me? gonna ask, um, so tell me, have you played D&D before? I know the gelatinous cube is a classic D&D &D monster. Yeah, I have, I have played the D&D &D so before. So tell me about that. You've uh, been the DM, right? I have, yeah. I've, uh, I really haven't played D&D &D all that many times. Mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, I regret, I wish I could play more. I think it's really hard to find a, a good group to play with. Yeah. That it, there's just so many things that need to work. You need to enjoy playing with them. You know, it also needs to be something that you can do consistently or mm -hmm. else it just kind of falls off the map. Yeah. Uh, very, you know, hard number of things need to come together magically. <laughs> right. To equal success for D&D. &D. Uh, which is why a lot of the time I'll just offer to be the DM because, uh, you know, for like little hmm. one shot experiences. If you don't know what a one shot is, that's just like a one off uh, kind of thing. Like, you, you know, you sit down and play it once. Uh, and I do that. I, I enjoy doing it. Um, I feel like I'm decent at it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a lot of fun. And a lot of the time people don't want to do it. And I don't mind doing it. Yeah, I could see you being uh, having a good time with that. What about you? You ever um, play D and D, Abby? No. Have, so, not to <laughs> sidetrack, but there, so there's a quote from The Office um, where Michael is talking about inside jokes. Abby, you like, know I don't watch The Office. Exactly. That's why I'm telling you what the quote is. And he says, "Somebody's they hit. They're like, oh, it." He's laughing at something somebody else said, and they're like, "Oh, Michael, it's an inside joke." They're, he's like, "What's so funny?" And he's like, "Oh, I love inside jokes." 
I've always wanted to be a part of one someday. Oh, God. <laughs> and that's how I feel about TNT. <laughs> oh, yeah? You'd love to be a part of one someday? Yeah. I feel so much like it. I'm like, oh, yeah. I feel like it shouldn't be that hard to find it. But I've always... I think just like online groups you can do. If I was that anxious to join, I would probably have found it. So right. desperate to play D and D. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, but you're so funny. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, I I really do think that it depends on you know the group of people that you're playing with. I'm sure. It's probably you know something that you could find like you said online. Find some groups. I know uh, a lot of people just go that route in general. There's mm -hmm. like some, some you know, web browser stuff that makes it easier to get together and play with people. Mm -hmm. I think that's awesome. Oh, uh, well, th th thank you. Oh, that there's, oh, that there's web browser things available. Why are you saying thank you, <laughs> I wasn't Abby? sure. Abby, why are you I saying I thought you were that? like looking at what I was doing or something. And Abby, are you okay? <laughs> you good? I'm just confused. Yeah, I'm just confused. <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm just confused. <laughs> I am just in a constant state of relative confusion. That's okay. <laughs> this is how I live most of my life as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, your little head's coming together nicely over there. The yeah. creepy head. I love how you found that image and I said, oh, that's creepy. And you immediately were like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was cute. I guess I'm a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> you can make whatever you want. I don't care. Go, go. Oh, absolutely. I go, am. I mean, obviously I crazy. still decided to make it. <laughs> yeah. After, after I said, go crazy. Oh you know? my goodness. <laughs> you know, me choosing not to have reference, I feel like was m a, a, a ballsy move, but maybe not a ballsy move in the correct, in correct, the correct way. way. Uh oh. But that's okay. I'm learning. I'm do I'm matters. doing things. That's something that is very important. Mm, mm -hmm, All right. Mm -hmm. So now that I've got, I got my cube. I got a weird bad shadow that I've made. Uh, oh yeah. Why did I make a shadow? Only time will tell. Only time will tell, and I don't know what time is going to tell. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try making some kind of. I'm gonna make like a quick arrow, a quick arrow. I say, using the word "quick" in quotes. Oh, you know that symmetry tool would be pretty sweet here. Yeah. Do you know how to turn it on? Uh, no. The, yes, but no. I'd yes, have to, but also. I'd have to look for it, and I'm just not going to take the time to do that. I'm well, just going to. experiment with that soon here. I'm just going to do cool. a quick arrow, mm -hmm. all right? I'm not a cheater like you, okay? Shut I'm up. not going to use. We're on, we're using digital art. We're automatically cheating already. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, now I've made my little head guy. Now my plan is to make a cube of some kind, a gelatinous cube. In fact, and put them in. Oh, you haven't even it. made the cube? I am, like I said, really excited to bite off more than I can chew once again. Let's see. So I think for a gelatinous cube, what I'll do is I will start with a block of color. You sounded very sure of yourself. Yes. That <laughs> sharp intake of breath. <laughs> The gelatinous cube, here it comes, there it is, here there it, comes. it, here it, there there it, it goes. goes. <laughs> um, did you eat a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches as a kid? Is that I'm why? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? Like, I don't know, I wasn't really into peanut butter and jelly at all. When yes, I was young. absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Why do you ask? About uh, the because we're making butter. gelatinous cubes. And, you know, you got to wonder, like, do people eat the cubes ever? What? What were you talking like about? Like in D&D. &D, well, like, you can't eat do the you think cubes. That, it's bet, like poison. I bet some storylines people have come across, they're like, and then I ate the cube. And then I ate the cube. <laughs> just showing myself. I'm just trying to show how much I have not played D&D. &D, That's know? okay. <laughs> yeah, I think the cube is supposed to be poisonous. However, I am not entirely sure. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna make the objects inside of the cube transparent. Uh, and I've decided that putting them on top of the cube and fading out the opacity seems to be That was my plan too. I'm glad well. that's working well for you. Yeah, that I'm... was your, your plan as well? Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're stealing my idea. Uh, no, it doesn't. It does. Sounds like great minds think alike. Mm, sounds like you're stealing my We're idea. We're getting married. We have great minds. They think alike. <laughs> <laughs> what all are you going to put inside of your cube? Just your little your little head thing? Yeah, well, we'll see. Just like By the time head? I get the cube made and the head inside it, we'll see where I'm at, you know? Okay. 
I'm going to put some arrows in. I'm gonna try creating like a, not what's it called? I, I don't know if it's the mace or a morning star. It's like the ball with spikes on it. You Ooh, know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I think so. Is that a morning star or a mace? Um, you should know. You, you should know. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> You're, come on, Abby. You know these things. No, I don't. I've heard of. I know what a. I've heard of a morning star. I think that is. Yeah, I think a mace is like a club with spikes on it. Maybe. Is how I would think about that. But yeah, if it's on a chain, then oh. I think it's a morning star. Okay, well mine's not gonna be on a chain. It's gonna be on a stick, but yeah. Does that mean it's a mace then? I don't know, this is why I'm asking <laughs> you. <laughs> I thought you knew these things. Why did you think I would know these things? I just thought you you knew things why about medieval weaponry. No. Who am I even marrying? Hmm? I don't, why don't you know? <laughs> All right, now to draw the spikes. Who am I even marrying? It's how there? How does one draw a spike? Mm, what a question. Question yeah. for the ages. What do you What do you think about drawing, Abby? Drawing hard. Uh, That's what drawing I'm super hard. But I'm excited to see how this turns out. Um, drawing like a substance that is meant to be gelatinous. At first, I was like, oh, this is already looking jelly-like. This is great. And now I'm like a little farther and I'm like, wait, wait. Oh no! Wait, this is hard. That's how I feel every time I draw. I'm just like, oh, man, this is going so. Oh, it's horrible now. <laughs> and I've messed it up. Like, <laughs> I, if I had just kept it with a minimalist uh, look, perhaps we would have gotten somewhere good. But no, I had to reach for the sun. Yes, full, full on Icarus. I'm all about it. I'm ready to try and fail, and repeat and repeat and repeat. All right, let's see here. Yes, there's a lot of a re repetition on the failing side, but that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, I, I hey, as long as you're having fun, right? Yeah. That's all that matters. This I'm having fun. fun. Yeah, I actually really like doing these kind of short little things because they keep me from, well, I don't want to say biting off more than I can chew because I still do that, mm -hmm. but they do help a little, like, you know, they help a little. They help a little good. Yeah, I love them. They really push me to try to make things that I would never have sat down to make otherwise. Just like literally, I, it would just have never occurred to me. That's not bad. Like a gelatinous cube. I would have never made a, a j jelly cube. I would have just drawn Mario again. <laughs> Repetitively. Why didn't you draw Mario inside the cube? Oh my gosh. Well, there's still time, isn't there? Let's see, so now we get to experiment. Is it better to put the object in the cube on a reduced opacity or- I've already figured this one out. You gotta put it on top of the cube and lower the opacity. Oh, see, I had tri I tried putting mine behind the cube and lowering the opacity of the cube. I don't like that. I, I tried putting up. it behind it as well. It didn't seem to work very well. Oh. At least in my experience. My professional I'm gonna try experience. What you suggested. Try what I suggested. That sounds oh, yeah. Okay. How's it? How's it work? It's working pretty well. I think Iffy. what I need to do. It it shows me kind of like where I wanna take it back a little bit here and there. Bring it back. All right. Well, for a quick little morning star or mace, whatever this is called, I think that's pretty pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Check it out. You know, not, oh yeah. Nothing Go special, ahead. but Go ahead and put that in your cube there. I'm, I'm, hang your hat on it. Hang your hat on it. Yeah. That sounds like you're making fun of me. I'm never. <laughs> I would never. I think that's a lie. I think you would. You think I would, and I have. I think you have multiple times. <laughs> Maybe. I'm utilizing the heck out of this blur effect. Are you really? Yeah, it's great. Have I love fun. blurring things. Really helps. <laughs> All right, now where to put my little mace here? Where to put my little mace? In the slime. I will put it, and it will be great. Now I'm um, I'm noticing that maybe my arrows are a little too big. Um, whoops! Wow, this is not easy picking and choosing where you're gonna put things. 66% opacity, very nice. All right, hey, that works. 
I'm into it. I got some arrows. I got a thing that's a mace or a, st a star of the morning. Cool. I have no idea. We got some more arrows. It just really blazing the trails over there. Heck yeah. Going right along. Now I need, I feel like my cube could use some work, but I'm not sure how to make my cube uh, better. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this happening? What am I doing? I have mm -hmm. the color selected mm -hmm. for this. Ooh. Abby, I thought you were a pro. I'm so confused. Thought you were like uh, a master at Procreate. I am, but at the same time, in a much more real sense, I am not. Mm. I have an idea. Oh wow, this is not not my idea. Nope, that my idea has failed. <laughs> Don't know what's happening. I am also like at a state where I'm like, what? Like I keep trying to paint with this one color, and it just won't paint the color I think it's gonna paint. But that's all right. That's all right. We'll just go with it, right? What the heck? I got an idea. I'm gonna try adding some more texture. I'm literally so confused. Oh, you know what? I must, no? What is going on? I have this color. Oh, now it's doing it. But when I put it on this color, it looks so much lighter. It's because you're, you probably have I thought I a had layer something... effect set. I thought I did too, but I don't. You have opacity. You have things set to different opacities. Yes. Already. Yeah, <laughs> you're funny. All I need to do then is go in. Abby had some technical difficulties there. I have a technical lack of knowledge. My knowledge base is limited to say the least. So that's what that's about. Welcome to our very professional drawing show. <laughs> <laughs> Where we already know everything about drawings just right off the get go. Yeah, we're, we're pros. Listen to us, listen mm -hmm. to our advice. Here's my advice, draw a lot. Draw so much. Actually, my my advice is draw when you want to draw. So many people, I actually uh, really dislike the advice that like all these people are like, hey, you gonna do you know art mm -hmm. this much and that much and blah blah blah. Sure, I think that's you know a really solid way to uh, get into a career quickly, mm -hmm. but it really depends on your goals and what you're trying to do mm -hmm. as an individual. Not everybody is like in the same boat. Like for us, we aren't in a hurry to get like amazing at yeah. drawing. We're we're just like we're enjoying it. We're enjoying the process of creating and having some fun. Mm -hmm. We're not necessarily trying to get as good as we possibly can as fast as we possibly right. can. Right. We're not trying to go get jobs in the art industry. No, like we're not trying to get up in that film and game industry. Like mm -hmm. at one point I was and guess what? I'm in it. <laughs> I've done You're it. You're like I know what it takes to do that. I, it's a lot of work. I do know what it takes to do that and I have done it before and uh, it, it is very difficult and hard and takes a good amount of time. Uh, however, you don't have to do that. Like especially if you're more interested in art, like, as a hobby, like, as a fun thing for yourself. Like, take it, take it slow, take a, take a breather, mm -hmm. take a chill pill. Yeah, just do it when you feel like it, because that's the thing, and like you always say, at the end of the day, people are going to do exactly what they want to do. Absolutely. And so many people try to, like, I don't want to say force it, but mm -hmm. in a way, yeah, mm -hmm. like, and that's counterproductive. Like, you don't want to why, end up hating it. Why do you? Maybe you should be, and not this might come off across as mean, but and it might be mean. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the industry for a while, so it's kind of hard to know. Um, <laughs> hard to know. Everybody's just mean, I think. <laughs> um, but <laughs> yes, everyone is just mean in the art industry. But like, if you don't feel like doing art or like want to make art, maybe you should be asking yourself like, do I really want to do this Yeah, or do I just want to be connected with this really cool industry? Is there another way I can be connected with it? Yeah, like, I feel like there are maybe some hard questions that you need to ask yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, is this really what I want to do? And, you know, maybe it's not. <laughs> and that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Like, if you don't want to make art, especially don't. when we're particularly a lot younger, we tend to 
it's not uncommon for people to kind of get it wrong the first go around, like think they know what they want to do and then get started on that and put a lot of money and time and dedication towards it and realize like, oh, I don't, I don't like this. Absolutely. I, uh, in college, I switched my major like five times, I want to say. It was a wow. lot. Wow. Yeah, it was quite a lot. <laughs> What about you, Abby? You just went in and knew exactly what you wanted to do. Heck no. I got a degree in something totally different than what I wanted to do. What was your first degree in? Psychology. Ooh. Yeah. The great psychology. Uh-huh. And uh, did you do anything with that at all? Um, I mean, having a degree already, a bachelor's degree, luckily allowed me to enter an accelerated program that was accelerated for another degree that I wanted. So no, I didn't do anything with it except use it as entry into a degree program that I wanted to get into eventually. Right. I uh, was nursing. But originally I, wa I knew what I wanted to be and right as I graduated, I decided I didn't want to be that and there was nothing else really at that time in the field of psychology that interested me. And I feel like even saying like, I want to be that is like a misnomer. Yeah. Uh, it's like not what, what you want to be, do. it's like what you want to do. Like... Yeah, and that's not what I wanted to do. Right. Um, and not to mention, it was one of the few things at the time that you could do with just a bachelor's in psychology. Other than that, that field is now like to do anything in it, you do need pretty much a master's. There's very few um, bachelor's degree significant opportunities within that field. So that was another thing is like, oh, well, if I don't want to do this one thing, that means I go back to school in a field that I'm already like feeling like I'm not super interested in anymore. Yeah. And um, or that I wasn't sounds at the horrible. Time. Yeah, it's cool that you changed your major several times. Yeah, and then I, you know, out. the degree that I graduated with isn't even one that I use. Mm -hmm. Like media I, informatics or something like that. Yeah, think of it uh, for those that don't know as a, a new media arts degree. As, essentially, I did, there was a, a lot of different tracks that you could go down, but I uh, essentially specialized in front end web development. Mm hmm web dev and web design more leaning on the design aspect but essentially i left school and did a bunch of work uh, on websites <laughs> and just like helped uh, a golf course company with i think i managed like 50 to 70 websites i don't remember the exact number it kind of fluctuated uh from from month to month it really just kind of depended but yeah that was not a whole lot of fun uh i it was work it was a job but it wasn't like Oh, it was a terrible job, too. It was a very long commute for me. Um, not not a great environment. Mm. Um, and, you know, that, that was kind of... That's more specific to that job. There's a ton of great web dev, web design jobs out there, but this one just was not for, for old Benny Boy. Mm -mm. Not my jam. No. So I switched it up. Well, I didn't switch it up. I was actually doing sculpting on the side at the time, digital art on the side at the time. And then mm -hmm. uh, eventually got that full-time gig. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Did a lot of freelance for a long time and then eventually got there. Took well, how's while. your cube coming along? Do you feel like you're about to have it all filled up and about finished or you still got a lot of stuff you're trying to put in it? Oh, my cube is ready. Yeah? No. Uh, <laughs> I am going to finish up by making a sword, a sword to put in the stone, nice. not the stone, the slime. What about you? What are you doing for some finishing touches? Well, I'm just trying to take a step back and look at him. You know, we're still at a level where I Ooh. feel like everything we do, we're... It looks like he's kind of frozen in a block of ice. Yeah, I don't really... Probably because I chose blue. Did you change the color? <laughs> no, I just went ahead and merged everything a moment ago, and I'm happy with that decision. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave it as blue. Mm -hmm. It's a blue cube. I think that's fine. But maybe I'll blend some stuff a little bit more. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to do with him. But I like the, how the little head turned out in there. I think that was, that's according to my liking. He's he's fun. Yeah. He's a little creepy, I won't lie. <laughs> well, it's a gelatinous cube. Aren't they supposed to be like big monsters? Yeah, but the monster is the cube. Oh, so mine's special. Yeah, yours cool. like has a thing in it that is separate from the cube itself. And that's just what makes it creepy. Yeah, I like it. But also the cube is, I guess, inherently creepy because mm -hmm. it is exactly what I just described. It's like the cube is the monster. The cube we is were the monster, monster the whole time. <laughs> oh. That's um, a bit of a theme in a book I'm reading. 
What? What's that, that? We were the monster the whole time. Uh, us? It was us? We? <laughs> uh, yes. Now, it's a very, it's an extremely long fantasy novel series. And now I don't feel like I should name it. But I don't think that spoils too much. It's actually only one small aspect of a, of one small plot. If that tells you anything about how huge this book is. Um, is it that, the, co the color books? No, it's uh, the Oathbringer the series. Or the, um, what's it called? The Light... Lightbringer, is that what the name of the series is? It's uh, the first one is called- It's, it's um, the Stormlight Archives. Stormlight Archives, thank you. And I'm on the fourth book um, currently. And what I just mentioned is a plot point a way back- Wow, Abby, earlier. spoilers. Mm, Ugh. It just, it's not super relevant anymore. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, you changing your canvas color? Thinking about it. Just thinking about changing the canvas color. Maybe I'll try to give him like a background while I'm waiting on you to finish it. Waiting on me? Just I am... kidding, not waiting. Oh my <laughs> gosh. There is a lot more you could be doing I'm rather sure than just waiting is. on me. That is so <laughs> rude. I am uh, appalled at you. I can't believe you would say as such well a thing. As well you should be. All right, I didn't get to put as many things in my cube as I wanted, but you can keep going. No, I... no, 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 no. I'm I'm good. I I am happy with my jelly cube. Nice. Uh, it could be better. Could be a lot worse though. Hey, you ever think about that? Could be a lot worse. I didn't even think about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna like change the shape of my gelatinous cube a little. You should. I can't wait to look squish. at it. You know, I haven't even peeked once. You're a liar. Round. You're an I am absolute not liar. Even lying. You I'm peek not even lying. all the time at what I'm working on, I and I'm sick of it. I didn't peek this time though. I don't believe you. I didn't even look. Well, I've looked at yours. I know you have. And it's terrifying. It's not too bad. But we're supposed to make it terrifying, right? That's the whole point. Yeah. During these fall months. Oh yeah, because we're coming up on spooky, spooky season. Spooky I love how season. Halloween has become like everybody's like literal favorite, not everybody's, but in my circles, I should say, everybody loves Halloween. It's the big one. It's the big one? Mm-hmm. It's almost like people's second Christmas. They just like it. <gasps> wow. I don't know what, it, the vibe of it perhaps. Fall is such a beautiful season to have a holiday that's just primarily located within fall is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I'm down with it. Should I make him glow? Ooh, maybe I'll have a luminescence. <gasps> what? Yeah. I'm copying you. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't mess with the opacity on that. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna add my very final little, how, do you, how would you add a glow? <gasps> Wait, I got an idea. Ooh, glow. Are you using the luminescence pen? Cause I just occurred to me to, it just occurred to me to do that. No, I, I did not do what you just said. I made him glow by using Gaussian blur. I use Gaussian nice. blur like, like crazy. All right, let me check out your very cool cube. Check it out. He's so creepy and fun. <laughs> I don't know what is it. Is it like a radish? Like it's, it, it's a got like with it's eyes. got like seaweed hair or something. Yeah. It's very creepy, but I like it. It's oh, very you. fun. I like. Uh, I also like how you've highlighted the shading on your edges. I should have done more of that. Get some more of that light value on there. Mm -hmm. Really highlight those corners. Mm -hmm. That's fun. And his eyes look like they're glowing. They are. I used a luminance <laughs> pen on them. If you get a chance, play with the luminosity pen because it is cool. Ooh, yeah, so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did not play with the luminosity pen. Uh -huh. I um, I just used pretty much my good faithful lame brush. Nice. If you um grabbed it and like did it in white, like yeah, Ooh. in this top corner that's mm -hmm. right front and center. Yeah. Just smack a little luminosity on there. I should for smack a some luminosity on there. I'm just saying, you could do that right now. We could just see how it would look. All right, let's do it right now. Show me where the luminosity. Luminance. Lumi oh, that makes so much sense. Go to the light pen, Ooh. and then pick a color that's either white or you could pick the green color you've been using, and it'll uh -huh. illumi illuminate your green. You got to change your color though, or okay. you're gonna I'm, be I'm working on, or you're gonna be sad. Okay, now just right. draw a little like triangle. Whoa, draw a little like triangle. Inverse triangle. An yeah. Inverse triangle. Yeah, Abby. where all the points go inside. It's an inverse triangle. What I'm describing to you now. Okay. 
Well, I do like this pen. That's quite fun. Yeah, and if you don't like the luminance for it, you could always just use like a white for a highlight. I mean, but I can do it. This is cool. my artwork, Abby. I don't, I, I'm kind of tired of you telling me what to do with my <laughs> art. And by that, I mean literally the one time you've ever told Ever made a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I love your weapons in it though. Hey, did your, so the other day you did, um, uh, you did a shield with some arrows in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that inform your knowledge of how to make weapons this time around? No. You make I it faster? Just, well, maybe. I made the arrow like a little faster. I also didn't spend a ton of time in the, on them because I knew they would just be kind of thrown in there haphazardly. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, you know, cool. make them real quick. That gelatinous cube is ready to go on the attack. <laughs> he is. He's ready to. Actually, it's a she. How dare you assume oh, okay. my cube's gender? Uh, I'm pretty sure I said he. <laughs> <laughs> all right well with that thanks for watching you can join us by sharing your art online using the hashtag drawbly and hit that subscribe button so you can see future videos smash it and this is the part <laughs> where we say goodbye goodbye everybody mine looks like it's in a nice cube it does mine does look like a Kind of je jelly cube. Yeah, yours looks like a jelly cube. The, exactly. The texture is kind of weird, but no, I like it. It looks like it's kind of like a slick.